Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Krups Simply Brew Digital Coffee Maker. Okay, the Krups Simply Brew. Family Digital 10 Cup Filter Coffee Maker. That's reading everything that's on the box. 10 Cup Coffee Maker, I'm not sure I mentioned that in the intro. So this is another item I picked up on Amazon. I say picked up, that I ordered on Amazon. I paid $54 for it, and that was in early January 2023. So that's the time of recording price. I'm gonna give measurements in just a second, but I wanna say that I really do like this look, this stainless steel, this gunmetal look, if you will, this darker tone stainless steel, if I'm making any sense. Out of all the coffee makers I've done, I think this is the one that I like the most. Nice sleek touch screen, all around stainless steel. Gives squeezing on a run for its money. Let's just get that straight. So. It's 12 and 3 quarters inches high by 8 and 3 quarters inches deep and 6 and a half inches wide. All right, we're going to have a look inside to see what it comes with. Comes with a measuring scoop. And this is equal to one tablespoon. Have a reusable filter. And this is the filter basket or the housing. If you don't want to use the removable filter, you could use cone style filters, the paper ones, and just put them directly in here. I like the shower head. Reminds me of the Cuisinart model. You'll get a nice even distribution over the grounds. And on the left side of the unit, when it's facing you, is the water level indicator. From four cups all the way up to ten cups. And the carafe. Okay, now I'm going to show folks how to operate the machine. I'm going to be doing a full 10 cup pot. And I'll be using not 10, but 11 scoops of ground coffee. I want a really bold cup. But normally you would use one scoop per cup. All right, so the first thing you want to do is set the clock. Well, I should say the current time. You plug it in. You'll get that default 12 a.m. time. And to set the current time, head over to the time program button, select that once, make sure it says clock, and head over to the hour minute buttons and set the current time. If you hold it in, it'll scroll quicker. Or you could just press it one at a time. We'll just set it for like 4.10 p.m. for this example. Release, wait a couple of seconds until it stops flashing, and the current time will be set. And just also keep notice that you have an AM and PM indicator. Now to set the programmable timer, same way you would set the clock. Head over to the time program button, but you're going to select it twice until you see timer and set it for the time you wish for it to go off in the morning. Let's just say 6, let's make it 6.20 AM. Now, once you release it, then you have to hit the start stop button. And you want to see that little icon there, that dot, light up right above the time program button. And that's how you'll know it's set. If you don't see this blue dot, it's not set to go off in the morning. And another feature this machine offers is strength brew control. Right now we have it on the strongest brew. You notice these three beans. If you select that, it'll just scroll through your options. So three beans is a strong, the strongest cup. Two beans will probably give you a regular cup and one bean will give you a slightly weaker cup. But for this example, I just want to leave it on three beans. I want it as bold as possible. And that's pretty much how you use the control panel. And one last thing I want to mention, if you don't want to deal with the clock or programmable timer, if you just want to put the water in, put the coffee grounds in and start the unit, just head over to the start, start stop button, press that, you'll notice a red light that will turn on and she'll begin operation right away. Okay. 
Okay, it just completed. It beeps about two times once it's complete. I just forgot to turn on the camera. And that took around 17 minutes from 6.20 to 6.37. Slides around a little bit. Right almost around 160. I was hoping for something a little better than that, but I guess that'll do. I'll tell you, it smells fantastic. While it was brewing, the whole room smells great. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Very good. The only thing is, I wish it was like in the 165 range. It's not a it's not a cold cup. It's not lukewarm either. It's, it's an acceptable temperature, but more importantly is the flavor. And this is very good. Not to knock Cuisinart, but I... I like this better than the Cuisinart. The Cuisinart was actually 155. And this, we're just trying to push 160. Same flavor as the Cuisinart, but this gives you a little bit more temperature, so. And not as many features, but, you know, I digress. <clears throat> this isn't a comparison video. I'll get to that in the future. But that's going to be the video, guys. It's the Krupp's Simply Brew Family Digital 10 Cup Filter Coffee Maker. Uh, if you got this far, I thank you for watching. I hope it was interesting. I hope it was helpful for anyone who's considering this unit or just comparing it to something else. Um, I thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. That definitely helps out as a whole. And I'll catch you in my next one.